Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 of the pawn game. In this video we are going to create the computer player and make it have the artificial intelligence so it follow and collide with the ball. So let's start by adding a new scene. I'm gonna select a kinematic body to default, rename it to computer player. And again we need to add sprites and the collision shape to default. For the sprite, under the assets folder, we have the computer player.png. Click and drag to the texture. And for the collision shape 2D, we need to select create new capsule or new capsule shape 2D. And here we need to resize the collision shape that it have the same size as the sprite and again we need to set the scale of the computer player by 2 and save it now we need to go back to the main level and create an instance of that computer player here we are and for its position I'm gonna set it to 1280 minus 50 and for the y 720 divided by 2 and let's run the game so as you can see the player is not moving yet and that's why we need to go back to the player scene or the computer player scene and attach script for it and as the player and the ball the computer player will also need speed so var speed am I and I'm gonna give it a value of 250 and again we are going to need the physics process function so Funk physics process and we need to call the move on slide it will have a vector 2 with a 0 and the x it will be always 0 and the y value it will depend on the ball position so that's why we need to create a new function and give it a name of computer player direction I'm gonna set the y value to 0 for now and change it later but before starting with that function we need to get access to the bomb node so on ready var bar equal to get parent get node and the name of the node which is bar now in the function we need to set a condition so if the absolute value of the y position of the ball minus the y position of the player is bigger than 30 pixels then so the idea is if the difference between the y position of the board and the y position of the computer player is bigger than 30 pixels then if the y position of the ball is bigger than the y position of the computer player then we need to return 1 otherwise it will return minus 1 and that means if the ball position is under the computer position it will return 1 but if the ball position is 
above the computer position, it will return minus 1. And here, else, return 0. And let's go back up here and call our function. And we need to multiply it by the speed. And let's run the game. And as you can see, the computer player is following the ball by a delay of 30 pixels. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next part.